Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, so here to preview the Denver Broncos at the Atlanta Falcons uh, this Sunday. <clears throat> it's going to be an early game um, in Atlanta. So I guess we'll start out with our three keys on how the Denver Broncos can win this game. Uh, number one is we're going to have to somehow shut down Julio Jones. Because when Julio Jones gets going on the Falcons, their offense is pretty good. Um, or average, I guess you could say. I mean, they have a pretty good offense when they can get Julio the ball and keep consistently throwing it to him. They also have Calvin Ridley. Um, and they got a couple other uh, really good receivers on that team. So, if we can somehow shut down Julio Jones, I think that we'll be able to kind of take over this game. Um, you need to take away... Matt Ryan's best uh, target. Um, AJ Boye will be covering him if he's able to go. He has a concussion. So if he's not able to go, that's uh, it's going to hurt the secondary because Julio Jones, man, he's probably the best receiver in the NFL. And if our best cornerback can't play, um, he might have a big day against us. So let's we'll see what happens. We actually got a lot of players on injury are on the injury list today. Uh, Bryce Callahan with a concussion. You, you got, or not Callahan, I mean A.J. Boye with a concussion. Bryce Callahan with an ankle. He didn't participate. Shelby Harris is on the COVID list, so he might not be able to play Sunday. Philip Lindsay didn't participate with a foot. Deontay Spencer still out with a shoulder. Uh, Jeremiah Tatra, DeMar Dodson, Patrick, or Tim Patrick, Austin Schultman, and Nick Van were all limited. So we, our guys are pretty banged up. Uh, for the Falcons, uh, Dante Fowler, uh, Tar Tarkaris, McKinley, and Calvin Ridley did not participate. That would be huge for the Broncos. That would give the Broncos defense a break if Ridley uh, wouldn't be able to suit up. Um, same for the Broncos offensive line, who's kind of dealt with some problems. We've had Glass, Glau, uh, he got COVID, um, so he wasn't, he didn't play last week. We got a couple other players on the O-line that are injured. And if Dante Fowler couldn't go, that would be a break for the, for offensive line. Um, another thing that sucks is John Elway and Joe Ellis both got COVID. So hopefully they get better soon. Uh, my second key to this game is we're going to have to run the ball. Um, run the ball. I say this every week. I mean, that that's just our offense. Um, Philip Lindsay really provides sparks for our offense. I think we're a lot better of a team when he runs the ball well. I feel like it opens up passing opportunities, and, you know, we get a lot of open receivers. Like, <clears throat> Deshaun Hamilton had a really good game after Philip Lindsay kind of sparked the offense. You know, Jerry Judy... Um, all these guys, if Tim Patrick comes back, that's going to help the offense a lot. Hopefully put up a bunch of points and put them up consistently. Um, it was good to see it last week, but I'd like to see it happen in the first half and not just in the second half. We only scored three points in that first half. So if we could score, I don't know, at least 17 in the first half, maybe. And we could put up like 17 more in that. Um... Second half, you know, maybe we can set a tone for this game and hopefully come out with a victory. Um, kind of going to my third key. I mean, defense has to play well again. Um, they played decent last week against the Chargers. I mean, they did give up 30 points. But, you know, offense was putting them in bad situations in that first half. So... You know, we'll see what happens. I mean, we got to take away Julio. We're going to have to run the ball well to get the offense going. And, you know, defense is going to have to help out as well because maybe we're going to have to have a defensive spark, kind of like last week, to get the offense going. Uh, we got two interceptions. That was good to see. But hopefully Boye and Callahan can go because if they can't go, it's going to be probably a long day for that secondary. Um, 
It's definitely going to suck if Shelby Harris can't play. He's he's definitely been a baller on this D-line, especially with all the injuries. Um, but, you know, it's really going to test our depth this Sunday, so we'll see what happens. Uh, my final thoughts is either team is capable of winning this game. Um, the Falcons have as equal of a chance as we do to win this game. It's going to be... Uh, it's probably going to depend on who wins the battle in the trenches. I mean, the Falcons have a really good passing offense. Their running offense isn't the best. I feel like that's our strong suit is stopping the run. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see how we cover Julio Jones and how that goes. Because the last time we played the Falcons in Denver, Julio Jones went off. <laughs> we had no answer for Julio Jones uh, last time we played him. So we'll see what happens, and then, you know, can Drew Locke build off of that comeback last week? Can he consistently put together drives and put points on the board? I mean, I'm interested to see, especially with a team that, you know, I feel like with their coach being fired and all this stuff they got going on, you know, can the, can the Broncos take advantage of that? I mean, they look pretty good against Carolina, but... I don't know, guys. We'll see what happens. Um, I do got the Broncos winning this 27 to 19. Um, but it could go either way. We'll see what happens. Uh, this would be a huge win for the Broncos again because they could get back to 500 uh, halfway through the season. And then, um, you know, people will be looking at this team a little bit differently and we'll be right back in the playoff picture. So this is a big win. We can't overlook the Falcons no matter how bad. People think they are. You can't overlook them. Because, um, you know, they could come out and, you know, ball out and shut everybody up. So, <laughs> we'll see what happens. Broncos, Falcons fans, comment down below what you think is going to happen. Um, hope you guys liked the video. Uh, hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. Other than that, stay safe, be good, and <sighs> we'll see what happens. See you guys on Sunday. Catch you later. Stay safe. Nice.